Hello. In the previous video, we derived the conservation of mass in integral form. This is the final equation that we got. This is the rate of change term. This is the advective term. This is the diffusion term and source sink. We can write same equation in a different form by applying this equation on a cubic small volume like this one. This is x axis, y axis, z axis, and this cubic volume has six faces, and the normal direction to each face is small n. By applying this setup, the rate of change of mass with time equal flux due to advection plus flux due to diffusion plus minus source sink. We can get a similar equation in differential form. This is the final equation. This equation is called differential form of conservation of mass. This is the rate of change term. This is the advective term. And this is the diffusion term. And here is the source sink. This equation is similar to this equation except the integral here is replaced by summation because the control volume in this form is not limited this one but the control volume for this equation like this one It is a limited volume with six faces and, and has a known dimension which is dx, dz, dy. Let's expand this equation to get the transport equation for this volume. As you can see here, this is the control volume, cubic volume. Let's assume we have a flow in x direction of velocity u. Also, we have velocity in z direction and velocity in y direction. But we work on x direction first. Let's name this phase, which is perpendicular to the x direction by phase 1. And this phase is phase 2. So perpendicular to these faces, we have advection and diffusion fluxes. For phase one, for phase one, the flux, is the advective flux, and diffusion flux. Both of them are gain so here the advective we have positive advective and positive diffusion positive diffusion the minus sign here is related to concentration gradient the flux through phase two has opposite sign to the flux through phase one because it's loss so we can write it as shown in here. 
this is the advective flux and this is the diffusion flux we have minus sign here and the plus sign here opposite to the phase one so the net, the net flex in x direction is a flux in minus a flux out we can sum both of these fluxes to get this equation as you see here we have the area dy dz which is the area of phase 1 and phase 2 it's same in all terms we can so we can factor it out in here and the rest of term are these now we can write the advective flux for phase 2 and the diffusive flux for phase 2 in terms of phase 1 by using Tyler series so the advective flux for phase 2 equal the advective flux for phase 1 plus the derivative in x direction dx plus derivative this is 0 again ignore it also the diffusive flux in x direction on phase 2 equal the diffusive flux in phase 1 plus the derivative of the diffusive flux in x direction times dx also plus higher order which is 0 the net flux in x direction we can get it by, substitute, by substitute, substituting uc2 in here and dx dc to dx on phase 2 in here so the final equation will be this this is the net flux in x direction we can write a similar equation by applying the by applying same derivative in y direction and z direction to get a similar form but in a different direction substituting this x direction and y direct and the net flex in y direction and the net flex in z direction in the general form in here this is the advective and this is the diffusion we got this for this is the condition of mass in differential form this equation can be simplified further by linearizing the advective terms this is the advective term and these are the diffusive terms we can write this term by u dc dx plus c du dx also same for this term v d c dx plus c dv dx also in z direction we have w dc here y plus C DW DZ substituting 
these form in here we get this equation you can see we have summation of derivatives in x and y and z direction this summation equal to zero if the fluid was incompressible so this is the general advective diffusion equation these are the advective terms these are the diffuser terms we can simplify further so if we have homogeneous diffusion in x direction and in y direction and in z direction which means that the dx can be factored out of the derivative like this one this mean the diffusion is the same in x direction and here in y direction and here in z direction if dx equal dy and equal dz the case will be isotropic so we can factor out d like this one thank you